Hi everyone, Keyla Centra here. Um, today I'm just doing a Stock Lock Sunday video. Um, this is a follow up to another Stock Lock Sunday video I did a couple of weeks ago. Um, that was video number 53, where I picked and gutted this lock. This one is the uh, Eurospec uh, MP10 multi pin security, and when gutting it, it was had a wafer in each chamber. Um, I'll just show you those quickly. So, there's some zoom in there, maybe. So, as you can see, um, on the bottom there, key pins had a master in one, three, four, and six. And on the top there, in the Bible, there was one in two and five. So what I've done is I've replaced the key pins. Um, I only have one shear line, so I've put in, I've repinned it and put in the key pins that would equal the uh, the length of the uh, master and the key pin combined for each key pin. And I've just dumped the top two, uh, which were I think two to five were spools, and um, yeah, two to one, two, three, four, yeah, I think two to f one, two, three, four, five. So yeah, so two to five, I think were all spools. So um, I only had a thin wafer there, and this one a little bit thicker, so they might come into more effect and get me some false sets because I didn't get any false sets from the first pick. All right, let's get into it. So I'm gonna be doing it, doing it the exact same way, same tensioner and same pick, so I use the Sparrows Lunatic in 25 thousandths and top of the keyway with the same tensioner going in the same direction. Right, so sorry, I'm just trying to get focus here. Sorry everyone, bit of a camera mishap there. Okay, there we go. So let's try to pick this and we'll see if there's any difference between having those wafers in or not. And if so, how much of a difference? So just light tension, just as before. I'm just gonna try not to stick that tensioner in all the way so it's not blocking pin one. So that's what happened last time and it will stop me from hitting pin one which was the last pin to hit for an open so this time a bit more aware of that so like last time start from the back and just feeling very binder so I've just hit pin six and a slight move on the core Number five feels binding so I might get some counter rotation on that one bit of, bit of Bit of counter there, but lost the false set a little bit. Well, not false set, that bit of movement from six. Feeling for any more binders. Okay, there's something dropped there, I think. It might have been six or five. Just go back to them and check them. Okay, just touch six and a little bit more movement. Okay, that was five. That was set now. So four now. Okay, just gonna jump onto this ledge for the first three pins. See how they're okay. Three feels binding. Hmm, it's almost like they want to give me a counter rotation. Yeah, let's just start off. One is springy. So already it's it's it is picking differently. Um, the pins that I pulled out from this were had a two point eight diameter, and the pins that I put back in were okay. Just touched five and got movement. The pins I put back in with a lab 
they were lab pins and there was three mil pins so I had to take a bit of meat off them and measure them up um, so they would, wouldn't bind up in the core okay a bit of set there on four I think it was or three rather sorry okay so let's, let's try one it's a little bit hard to get onto one of this it's a little bit high and the water is a bit tricky okay just well just hit one and actually I would call that a small false set so on the last pick there wasn't any false sets I actually got a little false set now so that is the first big difference so I guess now I'm going to be looking for counter rotation um, to see the spools come into play so I'm just checking one because the last time I had trouble with pin one and it cost me about two or three minutes of the pick just going through the stack <laughs> and uh, touched one at the end and just popped open so set one, one is set now confident with that um, two feels bindy and counter and a whole bunch drop then lost the false set okay all right so the binding orders changed um, maybe i'm not sure we'll see so back down back down to the back so the pick feels a little bit offset to one side, it's like a little bit I'm trying to look down straight down the barrel here. Just have to hold the pick on a bit of an angle. So feeling for any bond is okay. I think that was six again, so six dropped. And five. Nothing out of five. Four set. Okay, three set. Two, that feels like a set. Let's go one now. Okay, one is binding. Okay, loosen up on the tension, but not too much. Yeah, already something dropped already. I took off the tension. Okay, one. Back in that little, little false set. So I'll start from the back again and just work my way down. Feeling for any counter. Just the warding. Just trying to figure out what's giving me true counter here. Just gotta go through each one and have a bit of a feel and see which one. Oh, pin two's dropped way down. Way down the bottom there. It doesn't want to set. Oh, slippery little sucker. <laughs> the two counter. I'm not sure if it's set now, quite set. The two. And it's sort of lost, lost the set again. Oh, and we got it open. So I think I had, had it right above the shear line. I took a bit of tension off. It dropped and I got it open. So. Definitely a different pick. Um, it did pick differently, gave me a little bit of a false set. But I think if I could change the key, I can't put any meat back onto the key, obviously. Um, but what I might do as, as a little bit of a trilogy, I might put those key pins back in and um, see how it is with, without any mastering at all. I mean, it's got no masters in there now, but the key pins are the length of the master plus the key pin so that wouldn't give enough space for the, all the spools to engage so yeah that, that's just a little I won't gut this it's, it's been gutted before um, just refer back to video 53 for the um, internals so basically one the driver one is a standard and number six is a standard and two to five are all spools uh, they're quite long spools so yeah, just refer to video 53 for the internals and I will change the key pins back, take all the masters out, which will mean the key won't work anymore, but we'll see how this lock would work if there was no mastering at all. Anyway guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.